you know, I, we gave ourselves an opportunity. I, I, I thought the first half we weren't we weren't locked in. Our defense was subpar. We obviously weren't making shots, but our, our, our defense was poor. But I thought in the second half we were much better. Um, you know, we were a shot or two from, from making a, a, a really tight game. So uh, disappointed in the loss. But, um, again, I thought our second half was better. Not the outcome you wanted, but how encouraging was it to see Alan Crabb get oh, cooking the way he, huge, he did? Huge, huge. Just... Uh, like you could feel it coming too, right? These past couple of games, even though he he uh, uh, you know did make every shot tonight, he was he was fantastic, and and I still think he's hesitating too much. Like we need him to shoot five more times a game. So hopefully he he he's he's woken up and is in his groove now. Is that, I'm sorry, is that kind of uh, what you were talking about? You said you saw it coming in Allen, and yeah. guys eventually are gonna revert to the mean and now Joe looks like he's yeah kind of gone awesome. in the opposite direction listen if you're a numbers guy those those, <laughs> those things end up working out I I think it was you know bound to happen with Joe I think you know Joe's Joe's playing his tail off I think probably a little fatigue with that too this is a time in the season where where guys start getting a little tired you know he's had a bunch go in and out like I don't know how many shots he's had going in and out but you know he provides so much other stuff you know for us that uh, uh, shooting to come back when you look good, when you look big picture, you guys have played more road games than anybody in the league, if I'm not mistaken. So how, what kind of physical toll has that taken this early? No, we talked about that today, but you know, there's there's no way around the NBA schedule. There's just no way around it, and I, I think it's I think it's going to help us uh, uh, improve in the long run. Like having to fight through these, you know, a tough schedule, tough travel. Uh, I, I think in the long run, it's going to make us a more more resilient team. Started Rondé in the second half on Barnes, yeah. looking for something similar to last night. Yeah, you know Barnes had 18, you know 18 points in the in the first half. We wanted to slow him down, uh, you know, put J JD with that second unit, and you know I, I, you know, I thought it was a um, a good change. And, and Rondé's got to do that for us. Whether it's a guard, a point guard, a three man, four man, he's he's got to be our stopper. Was that more of a matchup thing, or is that something we could see more of going forward? Oh, I think it was a matchup thing. I think when a guy on the other team has got it going, I think we we have you know Rondé as our, our our ace in the hole there, and and you know we you know, talked about uh, Alan Crabb, but I think Rondé's starting starting to play better. I think we got some guys back on this trip that that uh, that, that were struggling a little bit. I think Rondé put Rondé in that category too, playing well, better. I mean, Rondé was, I mean, he was a nominal starter, and then he got hurt. Yeah, over the summer. So that's what I'm, I, I'm not. I'm not ready to go there yet. You know, I, I like our how our first unit's playing. I like JD in that first unit. I love how he moves the ball uh, with that that first unit. So, uh, you know, it's something something we could look out down the road. But I think we'll probably stay status quo for now. How hard is it to back up last night's defensive performance with another one tonight? Yeah, I, guess, I, I guess a team that has a lot of offensive weapons. Sure. And, and I thought Berea and, and uh, Devin Harris were huge. Their two veteran guys came in, and uh, obviously Barnes had a great game, but Devin and, and uh, uh, Berea, darn it, I wish, I wish he didn't play tonight. You know, we would have been a, a heck of a lot better off. But uh, listen, it's a challenge for our young player. You see Jared Allen, he's got Whiteside last night, and now tonight you got DeAndre Jordan, and, and you know, uh, to come back with the same energy as you did the night before, I think that's that's part of his, part of you know our growth, our young players' growth. D'Angelo, same thing. Like guys playing great, you know, and now, now the, the the next step for those guys is is, is playing great on back to backs too. Coach, when you talk about um, Luka Doncic, being that you've been able to see him up close. Yeah. First time I saw him, and, and very impressed. I, I can't believe how calm, cool, and collected he is. He's he's uh, uh, he plays at his pace. <laughs> you can't dictate his pace. He gets where he wants on the court. Obviously, has great size. I thought when we were making a comeback, he hit some tough shots. I thought he 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 hit a couple of daggers where where I thought we played great defense. And that, that's what the really good ones do. They they make make tough shots when they're when they're guarded. I, I was very very impressed with him tonight.